Jana, and I have Zach with me today. Say hi. Hi, everybody here the Oh He Got Your World. Today, we are going to go over our April craft to go. And this month, we are making paper plate vegetable gardens. So, in your craft to go bag that you can get at the circulation desk at the library, we just have a little list of some different spring books that you can check out for the library. Um, we also, um, Arbor Day is later on in April, so we have a fun little Arbor Day coloring book that you can color and talk about Arbor Day and the importance of planting trees. And then we have the things for your craft. So you're going to have a paper plate that's going to have holes punched in it just on the bottom half. You're going to have a cardstock paper that has some vegetables on it. And you're going to have some brown yarn. In addition to that, you are going to need scissors and something to color with. So markers, crayons, paint, however you want to color your plate and your vegetables. So are we ready to get started? Yes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to color our paper plate. And so this is going to be our vegetable garden. So the bottom half, are you listening? The bottom half where the holes are is going to be the dirt. So that's going to be down where your vegetables are going to be growing. And on the top half, you are going to have green for the grass and things growing up above. So you can paint or color the bottom half of your paper plate brown and then the top half green. Okay? So we're going to color. Now, if you decide to paint it, um, make sure, obviously, you're going to want to paint your paper plate ahead of time before you do the other parts and give it plenty of time to dry. But we're just using crayons, right? Are you going to do the top half now green? You're coloring much faster than I am. Uh-oh. Did the crayon break? You can do that. We have some other green, so if you just want to use a different crayon. Oh, get the crayon. Good thinking. All right, I'm going to do the top half green. It's not a race. Um, it's like to go looking. Okay, I'm almost done with mine. It better look like this. It better look like that. What if it doesn't? All right, there's mine. I will kind of your house. Yeah. <laughs> so green on the top half and brown on the bottom half. Now what you're going to do is we're going to color our vegetables. So what are the vegetables we have? We have a carrot, and then we have a turnip. Have you eaten a turnip before? Hmm, have you guys eaten turnips? I like turnips. And then we have an onion. I love onions. Do you I like onions? No. Are you sure? I go. Good job. Once again, you can do this with crayons or markers. Or paint. Or paint if you want to. That's okay too. Uh, I want the goo goo. Why don't you try holding your crayon the right way? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna peel some of this paper off this crayon. Mama. I want to do some different colored green so all my leaves are different shades of green. How about that? Baba, I'm already on my jacket one. Your onion? Yeah. 
Mama, you want to... Well, remember, it's not a race. We're trying to do a nice, careful job, right? Let's see. Hmm, what color should my onion? I'm going to do a yellow onion, I think. You're doing a red onion. Red and purple one. Yeah, there's different colored onions. Sometimes they're white. They can be yellow. They can be greenish. They can be purplish red. The red ones are really yummy though. They're a little bit sweeter to eat. And if you could not it dicey, I could drive your house. I didn't know you could drive. Well, I have a cold up. <laughs> um, well, you're not doing the nicest coloring job. Yeah, because I go right. <laughs> well, you can color as nicely or as not nicely as you want to because it is your craft. Game for you, babies. Oh. We in a mood today. All right, so I just have my carrot to do. Can I use this green? Thank you. I want my black. What is your favorite vegetable to eat, Zachy? Carrot. Carrots. Do you like them cooked or do you like them raw? Raw. Yep. I knew that. Do you guys like to eat vegetables? And if what they could look like. Oh I oh hi hi but grown up, I will guys for good your house. What is another one of your favorite vegetables to eat? That you love it when we cook it on the grill. Bogus. That's not a vegetable. <laughs> Something green that we cook on the grill that you call wobblies. Wobblies. <laughs> One of Zachy's favorite vegetables is asparagus. And wobblies. He, and he calls them wobblies. They are wobbly, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, my he got wobbly. And any time you get an email, okay, cut it a wobbly. Alright, can you start cutting out your vegetables with the scissors? And then you better cut out your vegetables. Alright, so then if you need a grown up to help you, you can. That is okay too. Or maybe you can cut big around it, and maybe then your grown up can do like some of the closer cutting. But either way, do your best. Take your time. Right? Always try your hardest. Get Betsy, make it the cakes. We want these veggies to look yummy, right? Yeah, but it, you know that the, the teacher at the magic school bus says? What does the teacher on the magic school bus say? Get messy, make mistakes. Get messy and make mistakes. You're right. It's okay to get messy and make mistakes. Yeah, if you have a kitty, I'm just going to make an example. You're drawing something else? Are you drawing a different vegetable on there? Mm -hmm. You can absolutely get paper and make your own vegetables too if you want to. No, like if something really bad happened. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. If you have to get the schedule, you can purple. Okay. If you accidentally cut your vegetable? Yeah. That's okay. You can always, well. Get it back on. We could tape, you could tape it back on. Sometimes vegetables don't come out of the ground looking perfect. That doesn't mean that they're not okay to eat. Sometimes some carrots are bigger than others. Yeah, like baby ones. Mm -hmm. They all look different like people. Yeah. So, 
Once all your vegetables are colored and cut out, we're gonna start doing the lacing on our paper plate garden, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take one end, we're gonna take it through the top hole here, and we're just gonna tie it on. So you might need a grown-up to help you with this part. Here, do you want me to help you with this part? No. Are you sure? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Do you know how to tie a knot on the back? So it doesn't come out. You got it? Or you want me to help you? I got it. Okay. I think you could be hard to that. Go 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 it or hard to work it. Oh, no, here. Here, let me show you. No, I want to be like Well, we we only do go through one hole to start. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna get going. Oh, through the lacing. And then you can do that part, okay? So we're gonna put it through the top hole. Look. Okay, and then, I then beep, 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 okay. beep. Look. All right, Wait, so we're gonna tie it in the knot on the back. Butt and butt. Nope, we don't need a hole punch the vegetables. All right, are you ready to do the lacing so part? How will we put them on? I'm gonna show you, okay? So okay. now we, whoa, we have a great, oh, mine's stuck in a knot. Go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Aha, uh -huh. whoop. Aha, success. Okay, ready? So now we're gonna go across to the other side. Look, go across uh -huh. and then pull it through. Wait, now? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is really long. Like, so that, just like that. Do you see? Um, you have real money. Got it? Yeah. And then we're going to come up through the next hole down below that one. Whoop. But the pencil goes. Well, we're not ready to do the vegetables yet. I will tell you when we're ready to do the vegetables. Is that we right? have to have enough string so the vegetables will stay in there. That's um, part of how we're going to keep our vegetables in the dirt. So we have to lace enough string going back and forth so our vegetables are going to stay in. So we're just finishing up the last of the lacing. Um, we gave you a lot of yarn. So if you want to trim that down, you can. Um, it's probably going to make it a lot easier for your child to lace. Um, so. uh, make, sure, make sure it can hang upside down. Make sure it can hang upside down. Well, we're not going to leave it hanging upside down. So we have the last one to go through. Zach, you already went through your last one? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to pull it through this way. All right, flip it over. Can you flip it over? Now, if you wanted to, if you want to have it look, you know, you can go all the way through again. You have plenty of yarn if you want to keep lacing. Um, I think Zach has lost interest in the lacing part. So what we are going to do is we're going to... Make a bad knot. Yep, we're going to pull it through a couple of different ones here. All right, here, can you... Oh, oh okay. There we go. Nope, here. What I want you to do, can you... All right, look. we're going to... Stick it through the back, right through here. Okay, so we so we know that it's gonna stay. And any Yep, and we're gonna get to that part. Okay, just a sec. You can cut cut them out if you want to. Then I'll eat little books. I got go hate ball away. Unless they want to know the titles of the books and the authors. Okay, so now we've tied that in up. Yeah. We can. pick up all the scraps when they're done. Sometimes we're in a mood to craft and sometimes we're not. All right, so we're gonna tie that off. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I so. All right, so there, we've cut off the extra string. So now okay. there is your garden and what are we gonna do? We're gonna put our vegetables in the dirt. So with a the string there, your vegetables won't fall out. Right? And it won't be brown. Well, yeah, it's brown, so it looks like the dirt, right? And there we go. There's your vegetable garden. Oh, mine are starting to come. Ah! Mine fell out. Oh. 
that's where if you go through again, they might hold a little bit better. But there you go. You hold yours up. Ta-da! There's your vegetable garden all ready to harvest the vegetables and eat them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, my vegetables too? Go, go, go.